Let's quickly take a look at how to add a search bar on your WordPress website. Hi there everyone, it's Tony and here's a quick little tutorial on how to add a search bar on your WordPress website. First things first, you need Thrive Architect to follow along. With it, you're not going to just be able to insert a search bar, but it's the best page builder that you can use on WordPress to build out your entire website and funnels as well. So there's a link in the description box that you can click on. It will take you to our website where you can grab a license in case you haven't done so already. All right, let's get started. Perfect. So as you can see, I have a page opened up with Thrive Architect here. And, um, you know, there's a couple of different places where you could technically speaking insert a search bar. It's probably something that you're going to have either on the header of your website or on your blog page or your ar archive pages. Um, in this case, let's just figure out how to insert it on the header of our current website. So I have a page template that you can find um, in Thrive Architect. This is a very chic landing page. It's actually, uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys real quick. It's a pre-built landing page and it's called, here it is, it's called ChickSmart. And inside ChickSmart, you have a bunch of different templates that you can use for free when you install Thrive Architect on your website. Perfect, now I have my header here, right? Let's go ahead and edit our header. Let's, let's try to insert the search bar either to the left or the right hand side of our main navigation menu. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna search for a search bar and I can just drag it either to the left or to the right. I think dragging it over to the right of the main navigation menu makes a little bit more sense. And there's a bunch of different templates again that we can pick from. Thrive Architect is super convenient when it comes to page templates. And this is actually going to save us a lot of time because we're not gonna have to spend too much of our own time customizing the search bar. So there's two types of search bars that we can pick from. The first one is a simple search bar. Um, there's quite a few ones, quite a few different ones here that we can pick from. I actually really like two-step search uh, search forms, mainly because they're not gonna take up as much space on our main header. So let's go ahead and just, yeah, let's pick this one. This one's gonna probably work fine for us. Awesome. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, let's just customize and style this search form a little bit more. So let's go ahead and edit the form elements. Let's select the input. I'm quite happy with the actual search icon. And by the way, the, the behavior that we're going to experience is that upon clicking on this search icon, the actual search form will, will show up. So um, I'm quite happy with the color of the search icon. This is just smart colors uh, into effect. I mean, Thrive Architect is populating my brand color um, and I didn't even have to, to you know do anything. It's just inheriting my themes um, brand colors by, by default, which is pretty nice. Now, um, I'm gonna navigate over to background style and here I can just change the color of this search form, right? So instead of black, let's actually go with white. Let's do a little bit of a border just so that we can create a little bit of contrast between the background color of our header and the main um, search form itself. Now, I probably don't want to make it too dark. So let's, let's actually make it black, but we're only going to do a, let's do a 20, uh, 20 of opacity. And this is going to give us this very subtle gray as our main border, which is pretty nice. I like that. For typography, let's make sure that the text is actually readable. So let's make it something like that. That's fine. I'm quite happy with that, except that on hover, the text is still not legible. So let's make it, let's make it full black on hover. All right, that's quite fine. Now we still need to customize and tell Thrive Architect what exactly can people look for with this search form. So let's go ahead and do search and let's just power through the main options that we have here. So we can inherit, inherit the page smart colors, which is again, like I was saying, something that Thrive Architect is doing by default. It's already inheriting my theme colors for my, for my main icon. We can enable two-step search, which is something that we want. And the display options, which is going to be on click, you're going to show the tooltip, right? The search form itself, which is great. And we can technically speaking hide or show the, the search bar and the editor, which is great. 
Search input position is fine to the left. I'm happy with that. And the button layout is the icon only. We could make it icon and text if we wanted, but icon is just more minimal. I'm a minimal type of person, so <laughs> let's keep it to icon only. And then here is where we get to tell Thrive Architect, okay, what can people actually look for using this for search form? And um, there's a couple of different things that we can tell it. If you got WooCommerce installed, it can actually do WooCommerce products, which is super neat. And if you're, built, if you're looking to build an e-commerce store, it's gonna come really in handy. Um, for this particular example, we're just gonna do post pages and let's go ahead and do Thrive Apprentice lessons as well. Excellent. And we can customize the width of our search form, which is really nice. And we could also do increase the size, which is something that we're not gonna to wanna to do right now. Let's keep it to 14 pixels, that's fine. Perfect. Now I'm gonna hide this two-step search form and I'm just gonna make sure that it, you know, that it aligns nicely with the rest of my menu because it's looking a little bit clunky right now. Great. So first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna make sure that this column is centered vertically speaking, perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing with my search form. Just make sure we don't have any weird margins or paddings. And there you go, you've got additional 20 pixels of margin. And yeah, we've got a bunch of margins and paddings in our main header, but that's starting to look really nice, right? Let's make sure that this is still a two-step search. And I don't, oh, okay, so this is actually gonna come in handy. I don't really know what happened there, but uh, let me actually show you the few different things that you can do. So on click, expand search will actually expand the search form, which is not ideal. I mean, it, it can work depending on the design that you're going after, but since we have a left navigation menu right, you know, right to the left of our search form, it's gonna cover the menu items, which is not ideal. I'd rather have the show tooltip that way it doesn't get in the way of the um, navigation menu. You could also do like a show overlay, which is okay. There, there will be some instances with where the show overlay actually can come in handy. Or you could do on hover, show the tooltip. All right, let's actually save this as a show tooltip on click and let's see what that looks like. Perfect, so here's our main header. We could tweak it a little bit more, but you know, uh, for the sake of actually showing you how the search form works, if I click on the search icon, the tooltip shows up and I can just do, I don't know, let's look for WordPress and see what happens. Great, so all of the pages and posts about WordPress are showing up on this uh, website. Now this is a staging website that I've got just for you know recording purposes, so it's not very neat, but um, yeah, it works fine. It works really well. We could spend a little bit more time customizing this, this uh, search page to make sure that it's completely conversion focused and we, and we can keep uh, visitors engaged. But so far it works really well. All right, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, I'm gonna be in the comment section down below, ready to chit chat with you guys and help you out wherever I can. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. See you soon, bye.